everyone. Welcome to week one of our e-learning activity for Spring Mill Music Room. At school, we have a lot of very exciting instruments in our classroom. We have xylophones, we have drums, we have maracas and many different types of shakers. But a lot of us, including myself, don't have those kind of instruments at our house and it might be kind of hard for us to make music. So today, what we're gonna be doing is making our own musical instruments to share together. You're gonna need three materials for this activity. Material one is some tape. I've got some duct tape here that I borrowed from my dad. You could have scotch tape, you could have masking tape, but you definitely need some tape. Material number two is a container. You could have a Clorox wipes container. Hopefully lots of us have that at home right now because we're staying safe. We're staying germ free. So you can have a Clorox wipes container. I've also got an Easter egg because Easter egg is coming up. An Easter egg will work. Or you could even have a big container like this one. This one's made of metal. The other two were made of plastic. Whatever works for you. Whatever you have lying around the house. Material number three is gonna be some filler. So one filler I have is rice. I've also got some beads inside this one that you would make a bracelet or a necklace with. I've also got some macaroni, some pasta in this bowl right here. You might notice that a lot of these materials come from the kitchen. We cook with rice, we cook with pasta. You might keep your Clorox wipes in the kitchen. So I had to borrow a lot of these things from my family. So make sure that you ask your family for permission to use their materials before you make your instrument. All right, you ready? You got all your materials. Remember three things. We got tape, we got a container, and we've got filler. Here we go. I'm gonna start with my Clorox wipes container. Right now you can see it's totally empty. Doesn't have anything in it. It's not gonna make any sound when I shake it. Kinda boring. So I'm going to take my macaroni, my pasta, and all I'm gonna do is dump it in my Clorox wipes container. And then I'm gonna close the lid. You heard it pop close. I would ask your parents for help with this if they're around, cause it might get a little messy if you're using pasta or you're using rice. So make sure you ask for their permission or ask for their help. Now we, instead of having an empty container, we've got a Clorox wipes container filled with macaroni and cheese. It sounds a little different. Now it sounds like this. It also could sound like this. Material number three was that tape we talked about. So I'm gonna take my tape because if this were to, if this lid were to come off, it would make a huge mess all over my dining room. And I definitely don't want that. So we're gonna take some tape and tear off a piece. And then I'm gonna tape right around the edge of this container, watch. So all I'm doing is taping the lid onto the body of my Clorox wipes container. Just like that. So now I can shake this as hard as I want and my lid's not gonna come off. Ready, let's try it. I think we're good to go. First instrument was a Clorox wipes container. My second instrument is gonna be an Easter egg. Now some of you, depending what grade you're in, depending what class you're in, we've used egg shakers in the music room this year. They look just like an Easter egg. This one's pink and glittery, the ones we have in the music room, aren't pink and glittery, but they sound the same. Right now, again, totally empty. Not gonna make any sound. You can see there's nothing in it. The ones in our music room, we can't open like this because they'd make a huge mess. That's why we gotta have the tape. So for your Easter egg egg shaker, again, if you don't have an Easter egg at home, that's totally fine. You can use any container you need. So I've got my Easter egg, it's empty. For this, I'm gonna take my rice. And super, super carefully, because this is going to be messy. I'm going to scoop up a little bit of rice with my Easter egg. So now I've got just a little bit of rice in my Easter egg. And I'm going to put it on the other side. Snap it together. 
And then I've got to take my tape again, tear off a piece. And then you can see where the crease is on my egg is where I'm gonna put the tape. That way I'm taping both halves of the egg together so that they can't pop apart. Just like this. And then I'm gonna have an egg that looks like this. So you can see I can't pull the two halves apart. When I shake it, it's not gonna come apart. Awesome, we've now made two musical instruments together. We have our Clorox wipes container. We've got our egg shaker. I want you to pause for a second and listen to my two different instruments that I've made. They're very different sizes. You can see if I hold them up to my head. One is very big, it's about the size of my head, and one's very, very small. Now you guys know a lot about if an instrument is big, what kind of sound does it make? If someone's around you, share with them, does a big instrument make a loud sound or a soft sound? A big instrument is gonna make a loud sound. Let's listen. That's really loud, especially when I hold it right next to my head. Come on, Miss Newt. If I have a little instrument, so if we have a big instrument and a big instrument is loud, what do you think a small instrument is gonna be? Do we think that's gonna be loud or do we think that's gonna be soft? Let's listen. Way softer, wasn't it? Remember, let's listen to our loud instrument and our soft instrument. Now I can also change this sound depending on how hard I shake them. So even with my bigger instrument, I can shake it pretty gently and let's listen to what it sounds like. I could experiment with moving it in different ways to create different kinds of sound. You saw me tilt it back and forth. That made a different sound than when I shook it. Or I could even roll it around and that's gonna make a different sound. The egg shaker, since it's tinier, it doesn't have that many different sounds it could make, but it's still got a few. We could shake it hard. We could shake it soft. We could even rattle it back and forth, kind of like a maraca. I want you to experiment with what different types of sounds you can make with your musical instrument. Save your instrument because next e-learning week, we're gonna do a different activity to add on to these instruments and use them for something else. Also, if you have an older sibling that goes to Spring Mill that's in grades three or four, they're gonna be doing a project this week where they might ask to borrow your musical instrument. I'll make sure that they ask permission from you, just like you ask permission from your parents to use their supplies to make our musical instruments today. But make sure you're sharing at home. I miss you all very much and wish that we could be using our beautiful musical instruments that we may, that we have at Spring Mill Music Room. But sadly, we're all at home, we're inside, we're washing those hands, we're staying safe. I hope you made an awesome musical instrument today. I know I love mine and I'm gonna be rocking out here at my house instead of at the music room. Make sure you're checking in on Canvas if you are using Canvas through your homeroom teacher because I would love if you submitted a picture of your musical instrument into Canvas. I will be posting an assignment tab on your classroom's Canvas page where you can go and show me the musical instrument you made. You've seen my two. I wanna see what yours are. You could even take a video showing me how you play yours. Do you shake it hard? Does it slide back and forth? Can you shake it soft? You could even keep a steady beat with your musical instrument, just like this. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. Get it done by half past two. Do la -loo, la -loo. Half past two is much too late. Get it done by half past eight. Do la -loo, la -loo. We've sang that song together in the music room this year, so you already know how it goes you can keep a steady beat along with your instrument. In our 
our music room, we tend to keep steady beats on our body. We could keep it on our nose. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. We could keep it on our shoulders. Get it done by half past two. To la -lu -ra -lu. But I want you to see how you can keep a steady beat with your new musical instrument that you have at home. Throughout the week, make sure you're staying safe. You're practicing social distancing during this time of quarantine. And you're sharing songs together as a family. Make sure you're being kind to one another and I'll see you next week.